Hello everyone, Zane Jimmy here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Last of Master Zero Two. You know what? I'm leaving and coming back in. Just for the upgrades. Set up. The mighty mine might. Rematch for two. <laughs> Unknown cell for his ex. Web of Destruction, Mock Rancher. Hello again, Leibniz. You must be tired of fighting the endless hordes of mutants, right, hero? Leibniz, why do you keep getting in our way? Let me recite if you disgust me. The way you live so carefree and how everything goes your way. The way you foolishly dump upon that broken doll is laughable. I couldn't do anything. For my planet, or her. Why? 
How is it you can? Believe this. So it's true. Planet G. That's the name of the mutant overlord that completely destroyed the place that I once called home. You will inevitably face Planet G if you stay on this path. However, you don't stand a chance against it. How would you know? We won't know until we... I know. Well, it's part of telling you now, right before you die. But I won't be satisfied to just let you be killed by that monster. I won't let it take anything else. I'll take it myself. Your hopes, your life, and your love. You hear me, Jason? I'll break it all. Everything you have. The Nomad Berserker. Leapness. And now we know why he fights. It's hard. I didn't know you could counter those! <laughs> Guess I'm no match for a hero. Going to show me mercy again, huh? <sighs> That's what I hate about you. That's exactly why. I'll tell you something. Just But the mission of Tunnel to Planet Sophia. <laughs> Surrender planet G's control. I told you, didn't I? You will inevitably face planet G if you stay on this path. If you face it in battle, the worst will come to pass. You said we have no chance of defeating it. Why are you so sure of that? Well, you'll find out for yourself. He's gone. Hey Jason, what do you think you meant by the worst will come to pass? I don't know, but we'll have to fight Planet G if we hope to get two planets up here. Planet, do do do. Map. And now we see the dark planet. Now it's time we fly. This unknown planet. Now arriving on planet Planet G. No way. If this planet is is Planet G, did an entire planet turn into a mute? It's not just that. The signal from the tunnel is coming from inside Planet G. If I think swallowed it whole, the tunnel to Planet Sophia, the dimensional tunnel. Then if we defeat it, Jason. According to Sophia's simulation, the Fiend Planet G will cause its massive energy stores to run wild. This will cause a superdimensional explosion capable of collapsing the entire universe, including planets of Fiend, through the tunnel. This is what Leibniz meant by the worst will come to pass. If we leave it alone, Planet G could become, someday could become big enough to consume the entire universe. No matter what we do in this situation, we can't give up Eve. No matter how many hopeless situations have we been through already, we will have each and every one. And if we refuse to give up, I know we'll find a way. So help me. 
I will find it. Planet G. The parasitic Death Star. Planet G. This fight is unique in that the gimmick is to slam right into it. Just to make sure that we don't waste too much energy. I'm going to try and kill off a few units, or it will do that itself. Land as high as you can. Of course, if he does a pattern that you're not, you think is not safe, don't be afraid to fight it. Get as high as you can, and then do as much damage. This pa pattern can either be really good or really bad, depending on which state you're in. Now we're in bad state. You can't climb. high enough to do damage. You don't need to worry about doing more than the bare minimum. minimum. Seriously. Size, then just wait for an opening. You can get a maximum of two hits when it's like this, but no more than that. And that's if you're lucky. If you're extremely lucky and manage to time it, Perfectly. You can technically get three hits, I'm quite sure, right? but going from grounded to air, you can't exactly do that. And the AG is down. 
But if we have the three talismans, the frames, we get a different ending. Doing friend the bad ending. Because yes, if we defeat Planet G without it, there's a very bad ending. Amazing, Jason. I can't believe it. To think the guy system could be used to defuse Planet G's energy. The system we invented to make this journey possible became our way through the final barrier. The sense of a dimensional explosion. Planet G is collapsing. We really did it. We sure did. Uh huh? No, it can't be. The signal. Eve? What's wrong? The dimensional tunnel, Plenty G, is all this becoming unstable. No, we won't make it in time. Ah! We won't get this. If we get the bad ending, we just get. I really saw a ending. I don't remember what happens there. <laughs> we successfully defeat Plenty G. But when Jason finally destroyed it, the dimensional tunnel inside it went wild. It turned into a black hole. It swallowed us up. Jason, Fred, J Sophia, and me. We spent we've been all separated. Jason never gave up. He always forced ahead, facing every danger. He left us home, fought relentlessly. All for my sake. I really wonder if I was ever truly a partner to him. When I first noticed the infection, I tried to keep it from Jason. But as the mutation cells multiplied, I grew closer to death. And the possibility that I would never see him again really dawned on me. So I told him everything. He would do something better. That's what I was thinking. But maybe I was clinging too closely to him. Jason is always so positive. It's e so easy to rely on Even I fully regret. I can't change the past, but the future still is ahead. If that's something I can change, I will save you, Jason. No matter what it takes, I won't give up. Here. And we're now playing as Eve. Eve uh, doesn't really have any capabilities. Like, really, at all. She's also really fragile. Right. There's no enemies in this first area, technically. And now we're here. We get paw prints. But if we press our counter, we get this. Which slows down stuff. We'll be relying on this a lot. Send them back peacefully. This is the first time, and I believe only time, we play as Eve. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. Now, slowing down time, we can avoid these spike walls. Everything is kind of foggy, but my fighting the mutants, my body feels like, what is this power? Considering damage done by my mutant cells, my body shouldn't even be functioning without getting energy from G Sophia. Yet here I am, I'm freely outside of G Sophia. No idea how it's possible. But now I can purify the mutants. There's so much I don't understand. But I've got no time to think. With this power, I can save Jason. And yet she moves so slow. Now it's out, we can use the paw print. And we can also counter. Something that even Jason can't do. But considering the 
this is really required for progressing. Yeah, no, I understand why. Also, we can now push blocks. Now we just got a dash. Yeah, we hit this. Turn this into war. Dash through. <sighs> Crawl through. Now we get to the hard part. Hard part. The part I hate. Once we get to the next air next indoor area, it should be fine. Okay, there we go. you've got to do for this fight.
Kate Capel. <laughs> At least this version of it. Because, yes, we will get a fight again. But it does not help I do not come in with full health. together. Oh, can't get up there. So we'll have to go through this path. Can't go through this way. So let's us go through with the cat pals. I don't have anything to say about this, which is annoying, because it's like, I want to speak, but it's like, about what? This is the boring part of the game.
go away because we're not getting by. found the sweet spot. I didn't know there was a sweet spot, but hey, now I know there is. And now I'm upset, because I shouldn't have taken as much damage. There we go, full health. And that might not be a good thing, because, especially with how slow we are, just Jesus. At least with Jason. Oh no. This is familiar. Oh no. Warning! For Dimensional Glutton. Dig Roller. This guy's back. I have to use this just to get some extra time. Now we just gotta wait. We got a new weapon. Well, I say weapon, but broken blast rifle. Blast rifle belonged to someone, or Jason cannot be using this day. Broken blast rifle. This isn't Jason's. What's he doing here? Now it's time to leave. Sadly, well, I can't. Oh no, we can. I thought we couldn't. But now we can go onward. Oh no! Don't tell me what to fight. Leaving is. Your struggles are meaningless. Meaningless. You defective doll. Looking for your precious Jason. There's no way he's still alive. Leaving this. 
How did he get here? Who knows? What does it matter? Knowing won't change anything. Because I'm going to crush you right here and now. Warning! Nora MA07. Go rid of. Huh? Is that. No way. Hey, what do you think you're. Oh! That's not Sophia. Behind Garuda, another metal attacker appeared alongside a lone girl. Are you MA pilot? Nice to meet you. My name is. My name's Elfie. I'm Miss MA support droid. I'm Sophia the first support droid. Eve. What are you doing here? Well, we'll find some mutants. We'll be swept up and sent to this interdimensional space. Then we encountered a mutant cocoon. And. What's a mutant cocoon? A mutant even more powerful than a mutant overlord. Much more, in fact. It damaged our MA. And I became separated from my partner. So I appeared at me, and now I'm waiting for him, for him here. A partner? That blast rifle I found. Could it be? A hand of a blast rifle. This is... Roddy's. I see. So he's already. Elfie. Even before I appeared at me, it was already too late. Ugh. Stop that! Right now! I can't listen to this, you damn mechanical dolls, acting like you're human beings. I can't stand it. I won't take it. I'll tear you apart. Both of you. How sad. So you lost your partner too. Understand your sadness. Me and Vo, we feel the same. You want to take it out on, on Eve? You're wrong. I didn't lose her. I threw her away, that doll. So you won't admit it? In a way, that's even sadder. Who do you think you are? What do you know about sadness? How could you know? You have no emotions, no heart, no soul. You're nothing but puppets. But we do. After all, that's all I am now. So, there's all that's left of me. What? You're a spirit? <laughs> so, yeah, something like that. You see, I was injured while fighting the mutant cocoon. I finished repairing an armor MA, but by the time, I could no longer. That's ridiculous. Since you're inside your MA, you should be able to tell, right? You won't pick up any readings from me. Possible. What you and I have been through to pose that on someone else, even as she is right there watching over you. How do you know about Lucia? Please, don't deny her. Her life and time with you. Hi. You. Eve, you have them, don't you? The interplanetary all-purpose markers from the other enemies. Huh? Do I have something like that? I spoke, I remember. The items we received from the MA pilots we met throughout our journey. Those markers can create a wormhole directly to her MAs from anywhere in the universe. Don't you dare lose them until you find Jason, at least. Sleepness, are you? <sighs> I know you don't have to say. I'm leaving now. I've got something I need to take care of. Take care of? <laughs> it's nothing for you to wor worry about. Shouldn't you be thinking about Jason instead? As you said that, Garuda flew off into the distance. Yay, that's fabulous. I'm so glad you made up. Oh, Eve, would you take our MA for us? Huh? You need it, don't you? In order to complete your mission? Can't operate by myself anymore. 
Elfie. Got it. I'll happily accept it. Good. Please take it. I'm glad I got to see you before the end. Eve. May bravery guide you. So that, Elfie disappeared from sight. This vehicle's in drawer. Inventor is the same as Sophia's the first. And her sisters. Thanks to Elfie, it's equipped with a bunch of additional modules. However, since the frame is damaged, the Excel Blast is currently locked. Basic operations are the same as the Sophia series. Alright, we shouldn't have any problems with pilot. Elfie, thank you. It's an honor to use in Ronnie's metal attacker. Nora MAO2. Let's see, his name is. Here we go, Andrea. And now, we get to play as Andrea. Andrea has only two, two cannons. It's Roger Shop, and it's got three weapons. Two we've used before, Warhead Missiles and Spark Tackle from the first game. But this one, Waterbind. We want to equip that and equip Spark Tackle. Now we can talk to Eve to herself, but eh. Point. However, let's talk about Roddy and Elfie. Roddy and Elfie are actually a reference to Blaster Master 2. Not Blaster Master Zero 2. Blaster Master 2. Blasting Away, I believe it's called. To show Warbind. Yeah, it's really good. Blasting Away is a sequel and in that Jason's already dead, so... And the main characters are called uh, Elfie and Roddy. So, it's a nice, nice little thing. Now, if we fire away some SP, we get back by being more. It's a weird gimmick, but it's not a bad one. Now you may be wondering, does Bleed Miz have a reference? Not really. Well, technically he does. Not himself, and I can't talk about it. Because it's actually really enough a spoiler. It's a spoiler for the third game, so uh, yeah, we won't be talking about Bleed Miz until that game. as platforms. It is a bit tedious though. And our double jump also takes SP. Here. And you can probably tell he's back. That's right! Warning! Lair of Capel. Face a joke. Joke. Oh, do we have a 
save. Alright, go away. So good. It's only health upgrades, I believe, so. I believe this is the only indoor one, or if it's. or if it is another, it's. not that bad. Right, dimension refs disappear when we use counter, which we do want to utilize. It's only really used for this, which is saddening. find the rest of the grades and hopefully Jason or Fred next time. So next time on Blastmaster Zero Two. What well, we'll do just that. This is Inuzuma, signing out.